Hey guys, wanted to bring you another YouTube video. I uh, got three more packages, so we're going to unpack them and see what we got. Um, two of them I know should be my two great first time purchasing grading cards. Um, since starting Collect Again and trying to flip some of these cards uh, during the NBA and football season. And then one of them right here is probably the ungraded card. Um, it's a raw card, another one that I'm trying. So hopefully I purchase it low enough and maybe it's good enough condition where I could try to send it off for grading. So let's start off with the ungrading because uh, I think I know how it is or hopefully it turns out well because I don't like how they package it with envelope. Um, see if it did better job than the tray lands. Actually, it looks like there's a higher top, so that's good. So this is a LaMelo Ball Prism Instant Impact. Mm, I can't tell if that's a scratch at that end, so I should try to take it out. Do appreciate how they use the painter's tape. And like I said, last time with the Trey Lance, it did not have to ding when I looked on the video. So hopefully this is not the case again. Oh, good. So it looks like it's not part of scratch. It looks like it was dust. That's the hard part. You can't tell which one has dust when they're... So if you're going to take photos, you definitely want to make sure it's good. Um, actually, there could be something here. So we'll have to take it out. I could do all right so that's good it's not really that's the problem so if I do send it for grading definitely have to make sure there's no dust or anything but that's good it's just dust so that's a sigh of relief corners look good surface looks good because So corner, surface, I'm still learning in the center. Uh, so definitely looks pretty clean overall. So happy with that. Uh, got this card for $7 overall with tax and shipping and everything. It came out to $8 and some change. So this looks, uh, if, if the raw carts continues to go up, probably send this for green let's see if there's some low population on this so I did not realize I purchased from the same buyer or seller and so I was surprised um, if I remember or known that, that I would probably ask hey can you combine shipping um, pretty much I made the offer same day so I should have been able to ask for that I could have saved me probably four dollars right there um, since each of them they charge or the same guy charge four dollars for first class which is fine I, I don't mind um, but if I was able to combine it that would have been nice that usually because I'm a seller too would have probably save some money there for combine and time and materials too because then he doesn't have to use an envelope so very excited how much I got the, uh, these cards um, overall so hopefully like i said they ship fine i would think so um but you would just want to make sure that so definitely like how they use the cardboard that definitely should protect it from cracks and stuff like that um if i do ship or when i do start flipping i definitely want to put bubble wrap like this so or hey make sure there's bubble so
So got the John Morant Penny Threads. Graded at nine. Um, pretty much anything PSA, I'm trying to get a nine or ten. Because I think there's enough uh, market for nines and tens. In regards to uh, BGS, I'm trying to get if I don't know if I'll ever make it uh, to be able to get, but to purchase a prist um, pristine ten, or um, if I was able to get the highest black label for a BGS ten, that would be nice. Uh, but those are really expensive, and then you also have. Uh, where I try to get the nine and a half or the nine. Um, I think it's SCG. Try and get tens or nines. Pretty much all across those three uh, are, I guess, the top three in the industry. PSA and Beckett definitely. So it's not the most coveted uh, John Morant. Um, what is it called? Rookie or well-known rookie, but I think if you hold on to it, or even if I could get a short flip for a nice amount when he's having good uh, playoff run or during the regular season, I think this should do really well. So that's good. No cracks or anything there, so looks pretty clean, like he. So definitely going to leave a nice review. And this one I actually got it for almost uh this one was 1850. I got this for 1850. I believe. Oh wow. He actually doubled this. So he sent the blue on two of them. So I think he got sent both of them in blue, but I guess he wanted to make sure this was even safer by using both so I really like how well he packaged and shipped it definitely uh, going with buy again from him uh, the way he's packaged stuff is very great and I usually like doing business with the same person if I know their history and how they did so my first Zion Williamson rookie it's not the big, like, like I said, it's not the well-known ones uh, for Jaw or um, Zion. It's the playbook rookie. But at least now I could say I got my first rookie of Zion and Jaw Morant. Especially during uh, Zion's first year, everything was so expensive for Zion. Uh, so, very excited. I can't, I can't believe I got it. So, this one I also got around 1850 Um I'll probably keep track, show you my, maybe do that weekly, like a recap uh, when I start buying and selling more. And see, uh, my goal to have it like an investment portfolio um, where... Uh, just like retirement, you want you want to have diversification. And so... Like I said, for me, I think stock market, it's great if you could find um, value in certain stocks. Um, I mean, I, I found some, but like those tech companies and stuff like that, they're really overvalued. So I, I like to diversify. And I think sports cards right now have taken, like during the off season, and I've seen the floor and ceiling of these cards, definitely they they go really high during the um, season, so that's where your off season. I feel like, and, and that's why I got some of these great deals because they're during the off season. So I would purchase these during off season and as much inventory you can, and try flip them during um, the season, and the run to the um, to um, the playoffs and stuff like that. That's where you're going to see most of your volatility, but. Um, biggest returns probably during the uh, playoffs, but I don't know if I could hold off that long because like I said I'm trying to build a portfolio and trying to flip as fast and much um, So hopefully these will be good starters to flip 
but definitely happy that I got two. This guy is pretty good, so like I said, I would probably keep him as my, um, maybe, like I said, as one of my um, stores to keep an eye on if he has more good stuff. He was very reasonable and was willing to work uh, with me, so... I got more coming in, um, but like I, I've sent so many offers for football, I haven't gotten any accepted offer or auctions one. So football, I might be too late because uh, football season is about to start and looking forward to the season. I may have to buy more raw cards and hope that's the best route. Um, but let me know. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Hopefully you like what um, I got. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so far. Um, again, I try to do as many different videos and different topics. And definitely um, very excited to try invest in different uh, stuff. So again, go ahead and like, share, and comment, and subscribe to our channel. Definitely appreciate your support. And again, together we can build better tomorrow. Definitely um, glad that I got three of the top rookies out there uh, right now. So thanks again.